A video clip of an entertainment show has become quite popular and has been circulating widely on Sina Weibo. In the clip, the eight-year-old son of a Chinese celebrity talks with a foreigner in very fluent English. How do you learn such good English? In the kindergarten, I learned it. With only two years, you speak so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, 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 when I go to kindergarten, the teacher just teach me. So... Maybe we need your help also. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Some netizens expressed their envy that they can't afford the high tuition fees of bilingual kindergartens as the tuition fee of such a kindergarten is far beyond most Chinese families reach. Many worry that their children will lose out on major advantages in the future compared with children from wealthy families who can access such programs. So do Chinese people think it is necessary to teach children foreign languages at a very young age? Will children who don't have the opportunity to study English in kindergarten lose out on certain advantages? Let's hit the streets of Beijing to find out. I think it's necessary to teach Chinese children English at a young age in order to keep pace with the rest of the world. If some parents cannot afford high bilingual kindergarten fees, they can create an English-speaking environment at home or encourage their children to make friends with foreign kids. It's a pity to see some Chinese people ignoring Mandarin while blindly learning English. Some rich parents send their children to bilingual kindergartens because they want to send their children abroad in the future. Of course, I'll allow my kids to learn English, but I won't make it their priority. Two to three years of age is the language development period for children, so I think it's very necessary to attend bilingual kindergartens if possible. I will send my kids to a bilingual kindergarten or other English training school, but I also worry that children may feel confused when learning English and Chinese pinyin at the same time. I think this may give heavier psychological pressure to little kids. Only children from rich families can afford to study in bilingual kindergartens. It's due to the huge gap between rich and poor in China, and we can do nothing about this. I think it depends on children's interest towards English. For example, I hated English when I was a kid. So studying in a bilingual kindergarten was a waste of time for me. But I may send my kids to a bilingual kindergarten. After all, mastering a foreign language is better.